Greetings on the eve of World Mental Health Day. Today we are going to talk about one common misconception about psychiatric patients and that is a common belief among masses that people with mental disorders are dangerous. They are violent and they are more likely to commit violent acts. This is not supported by any evidence. All existing evidence suggests that people with psychiatric illnesses are not any more likely or any less likely for that matter to commit violence than people in general. So why this misconception? There are several reasons. Sometimes there is a sensational case, like that of Raman Raghav. This paranoid schizophrenic went on a murderous rampage in Mumbai many years ago. And it caused a lot of fear on the streets of Bombay, Mumbai. Later on, he was apprehended. And there is a movie made on his life. So such cases highlight mental illness and violence, the connection between the two. Though overall, they are not more likely to commit violence than general population. Sometimes it is statements made by people in responsible position. As you know, mass shootings are very common in the United States. There has been a lot of research on gun violence. And still, the President of the United States, when the last mass shooting occurred, said that you know, we need better screening for mental illnesses. So this stable genius with great and unmatched wisdom ignores all the evidence and points finger at people with mental illnesses. Of course, we psychiatrists would like that psychiatric patients should not have access to guns. And you know why? Because many major disorders, such as major depressive disorders, schizophrenia, alcohol dependence, people with such disorders are more likely to be suicidal. And a suicidal person with gun in hand is more likely to turn the gun on himself or herself than on other people. Again, to repeat, there is no evidence that psychiatric patients are any more violent than people in general. On the contrary, there is a lot of evidence that psychiatric patients are many times more likely, according to some research, 10 times more likely to be victims of violent crime. They are more likely to be bullied. They are more likely to be treated, treated cruelly. So not only are they not more violent, they are often victims of violence. So let us remember this important thing in this age of misinformation. <laughs>